Welcome to Learn Biology and we're still on the topic of organic chemistry discussing reactions. So we can first start out with the two basic reactions in chemistry which include condensation and hydrolysis. Now what are reactions used for first of all? Well reactions as we learn in chemistry are used to make things, so make things, or break things, so break. So now this is exactly what we're doing in the terms of biology. Here are two reactions and here's condensation and hydrolysis. Condensation makes, hydrolysis breaks. Now we're talking about in terms of monomers and polymers and so as we've learned monomers make polymers so M yields to P and when polymers are broken they yield monomers but the main thing we have to understand here is that condensation and hydrolysis both use enzymes now what are enzymes well enzymes are these biological catalysts now what is a catalyst? A catalyst is a substance that speeds up reactions. So catalyst, so cat, speeds up, so speeds up reactions. And knowing this, we're gonna go to condensation reactions. So what is a condensation reaction? Well, if we look at condensation here, an easy way to remember this is condensation creates. So the C is condensation creates. So condensation takes monomers. And again, if you need review on what all this is, please check out my other videos on organic chemistry. But monomers yield to polymers. So this creates polymers. So it takes tiny particles and makes them big particles. So when a reaction occurs between these monomers so that they can become big particles, water is the byproduct. And we can uh, show this in an example. So here's an example of condensation reactions. Here are two amino acids, okay? So two monomers. And what's going to happen is that these two will react and make this big polymer. So what happens here is that this monomer has an O and an H. This is hydroxide. So hydroxide. And this one here, this monomer has hydrogen and when a reaction takes place the hydrogen and the hydroxide link up create we have here 1H 2H and an O so they create H2O and release water and create this big particle so here is what condensation reactions create an H and an OH are released and create H2O and this is very important to know in condensation reactions so let's review here condensation reactions create water so create water a hydroxide and a hydrogen is released to create water the use of an enzyme is always here that's something we didn't pay close attention to here is enzymes but always remember that in these reactions an enzyme is in between this reaction takes place because of enzymes so we'll put an enzyme here and so we've said they create things release water and use enzymes moving on to hydrolysis reactions hydrolysis reactions also use enzymes the big E what these do though is break down so they take p 
polymers so poly meaning many and make it monomers meaning one or smaller and how these work is that you actually have to use water to run these reactions here's an example now here's a hydrolysis reaction in which we have sucrose sucrose is a type of sugar created using glucose and fructose make sucrose again if you need review check out the other videos and what happens here is the the enzyme sucrase as we always said sugars end in ose enzyme end in ace so enzymes end in ace the enzyme sucrase comes in here along with water so water is used and it splits up the bonds right here the covalent bonds are broken an OH goes here and an H goes here and it is officially two monomers so this poly and then yields to mono so thank you for watching learn biology and uh, see you next time